Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner, and on the table in this uh, very small envelope, I have a shift attention mod, which is like really, really small. Look at the envelope. Um, so I have had a quick look at it. I haven't installed it yet, as that will be done for the review. I am waiting for a digital scale so I can actually test uh, the pull weights before and after the installation of the shifter mod. Currently, I have the 3D wrap. Cambio 3.5 installed, which is doing a great job. Um, you know, the shift, the shifter mods are there to add tension between shifts to make shifts feel more meaningful, to make it feel more realistic. And uh, this one does a great job. No complaints here. On the 3D wrap store page, it claims that it increases the um, tension by uh, three times, which I have to say is, is fair. I haven't tested it, I haven't weighed it, but I have to say it does do that. And um, more interestingly, this tiny little mod, which I will open now, claims to do exactly the same. Uh, increase the, the tension of between shifts by basically about the same amount. In fact, it claims to be even a little bit more by three and a half times, uh, to be, truth be told. Uh, I have these tins of uh, chickpeas here. So um, without any mod installed, it should be about one of these tins. When you're pulling between shifts, that's about how much tension you should get. Um, uh, when you pop in and out of gears, the gears, and um, with this mod installed, it should be about four tins of these. Uh, well, look at that, I've got some mixed beans, but it's always the same. But yeah, it should increase it by that much, which is quite a lot. And it should be the same as that, as the 3D wrap uh, tensioner. So yeah, interesting if it can actually reproduce a similar sort of um, amount of tactile feedback and tension as this can. So we will see, we will see when I review this. So you also get some written instructions. Um, quite honestly, I would have preferred to have seen some pictures here as well, but um, I have an idea of how to install it already. Um, and there's no, there's no video guide or anything like that, but they are, it is descriptive, so that's helpful. Uh, but yeah, it would have been useful to see some sort of imagery to yeah, give you some sort of like peace of mind to know what you're doing. Uh, but uh, the, the, the form of this mod is it replaces a spring which is already in the shifter, which is the stock um, shift tensioner, let's call it. And when you push into shifts, you can feel it sort of pop in and out. And that's by the way of using a, a softer spring than this and um, a ball bearing. So we don't get a ball bearing here because we just reuse that. And effectively, this is just basically a replacement for the stock spring in there. And um, if we get to take a closer look, you can get an idea of how that works. So let me just zoom in, see if we can get this to focus. We're gonna focus. It's having a hard time. Come on, focus. There you go, right, so tiny spring, very stiff spring. And the second part, Let me just put this away because I'm afraid it will uh, fly off the table. Is this? Right, okay. And you can see there's a little cup on the end. So this is a nylon piece. So it's just a small length of uh, plastic effectively with a little cup on the end for the ball bearing to sit into. So of course, uh, combined. Hopefully I can uh, hold on to this without it going wrong. It'll look like that. Okay. So let me put this away because I don't want to lose it. So yeah, effectively you're just ch changing a stock spring in here with this little assembly. And that is supposed to increase the tension to the shifts by three and a half times. And um, it should feel very much like this. Very interesting. Can it do that? Well, I don't know yet, um, but I am intrigued to find out. Um, if I haven't mentioned already, there is, a, there is an eBay link in the description to this product. It is an e uh, UK eBay seller. So if you're interested in this mod, um, yeah, check out the link. And uh, But you may want to uh, wait for my full review of this before you uh, decide. Since now I've used, this will be the third uh, mod I I've, I've, would have tested for adding tension to the Logitech shifter. Um, so far this is the best one I've used out of the two. Um, so I've tried the Nox 3D one, um, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, this one's a bit better and um, a bit nicer looking to be fair. 
and uh, this one is definitely more with discrete. You don't need to change the top part of this. You just uh, you know use the same gator and everything else as before. So very very interesting little mod. So yeah, so check out the review in a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. Um, if it is published already, there will be a link in the description as well to the review. So yeah, yeah, make sure you uh, stick around and you can be able to uh, watch that in the future. But yeah, so until until next time, um, happy simming and bye bye.